Welcome back, JJ's Great Gamers. It's your boy here, JJ, back at you with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. So, as you can see from our last two episodes, if you haven't watched them, let me quickly recap. We are going for the Yuri playthrough right now. So, let's load up our game. So, we are going to be writing a second poem. <laughs> Yay! Yep. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, I... I found the words that... You know, let's do one... Oh, sorry, I thought I was gonna do one for Natsuki, but... Hmm. Let's see. Starscape. Huh, let's see here, guys. Um... Cage? Yeah. Hmm. I just did one for... Oh, crap. Ah, oh, hell. I'm trying to... Oh, sorry for starting that, guys. Tenacious. Acrimage. Huh, let's see. Which one should we do here? Empty. Oh well. Got majority for Yori and Sayori. Alright, guys. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the last couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Jaden! Yo, Sayori, my dude! Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get in a to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? <laughs> That, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. What the hell? <laughs> we don't... Why don't we take a walk through your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why else, huh? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Sayori <laughs> nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. She turns it upside down and its contents spill out onto the desk. Only two small coins fall. <laughs> I knew it! I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair! Hm. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought a snack before coming to the club room. It's either not hungry or want an excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would win you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry! So now we lose the one option. Huh? I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening and oh Yuri. Her face is in her face is in her book as always. Ah! I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Jan why you borrow some money. <laughs> That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Yuri, the voice of wisdom. And frankly, after a boy and mischievous most stuff like that, your suffering is fair retribution. Ah. Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Oh, poor Yuri, always getting so self-conscious and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're, you were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. 
Oh. <laughs> Retribution. That! Still coming from you, Siri. Also, I know some people are watching this, like, this is one person who uh, really likes Doki Doki Lenin Chan. And is also a communist. So yeah, they've been waiting for me to hear Sayori say, accept the revolution. Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess that's a l there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Foreshadowing much? Hee <laughs> hee Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Bah! You wouldn't have come if you weren't for the cupcakes! So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> but... Yeah! I don't know we're saying smack Sayori in the face of Donald Trump. No! What was... It? A cookie? Sure enough, a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Terry glances around. I is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> uh -huh. I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. Yo, you don't go talking about people's cupcakes, man. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> I just love this game, like, the characters are so interesting. Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. <laughs> Sayori rapidly tears in the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Sayori's like, clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! No, not Sayori! <laughs> You're going through a lot just... <clears throat> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Oh, I'm sorry, I did Jaden's voice for Natsuki. Hashtag Trapsuki confirmed. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Aw, oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. <laughs> she already gets out of her seat and goes out and asks her and wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Hmm? Huh? Sayori leans down and takes a bite on out. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Seriously, just do that? <laughs> Mouthful Sayori tracks her way to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Wait, guys, where the? Where's Monica? Oh no, no Monica. Oh Jesus. Ugh. Where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. <clears throat> Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Uh-huh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Not to us, Yuri. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? It's only the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? <laughs> What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. <clears throat> what held you up, anyway? Uh, well, my last period was study hall. And to be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, that makes no sense, though. 
You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Well, I don't really. I, I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool! Oh, sorry. I'd also look forward to it. <clears throat> Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Jaden. Monica's happy post. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah! I didn't mean to, mean to pressure you or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I'm obsessed with you. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I really want the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So, did I miss anything? Did I? Nah, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki ends up complaining about her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back into her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Hey, Yuri! Eh? Ah. I saw a notice that Yuri is re reading a different book than the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, no. I was just kind of waiting for you. Ah, if that's the case... Oh, well, Yuri was waiting for us, guys. Why don't we go... <clears throat> why don't we... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's! Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. <clears throat> if there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of, of tea. I almost said me there, but we all know she also wants me. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I fall and watch as he retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure! Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to put this at the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, she moves very... The way she moves ve <clears throat> really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you two off to? Eh? We're just sure he was going to make some tea, so I suddenly realized how weird this sounds explaining this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. You're gonna be gone soon, Yuri. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want me to tell you there's something wrong with <clears throat> Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Jaden in club activities? Eh? Eh? My mouth caves. Yee! I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Jaden. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that, Yuri? I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It was also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Jaden? How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because... Nothing that you is... <clears throat> nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. Except you, Yuri. 
We have emotions, and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah, uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, um... Yuri lifts her head. Jaden? I really like being friends with you. Uh -huh. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help make it to help Yuri feel better. Anyway... Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Jaden, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yes. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course! I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed! I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. And it turns out, it's not very hard for me to do! When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri! Just don't push yourself too hard. You're always worrying about me, Jaden. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Jaden, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't run. Yeah, that sometimes, like, happens to me. Like, I get back pain, like, just sitting here, like, in front of the computer, hunched over like this. I definitely need a better gaming chair than the one I have. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over with... <clears throat> like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why <clears throat> we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolates as well. It's a bag of small candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it since it will go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall. Teacups at our sides. As a fencing, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer together. I can't see too well. <laughs> Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Oh man, this is getting steamy up in here. NSFW's Your teacup Yuri hands me my teacup Holding it with my hand <clears throat> That's not holding the book I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus Cause now I need <clears throat> Cause I <clears throat> Cause now I need to worry about making sure I don't actually accidentally touch her chest Meanwhile Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing she wears her intense reading expression, so I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. 
Uh, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Yeah, are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, man. <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have <clears throat> any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is pro practically on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already focused on reading again. I take a chocolate and pop it into my mouth. I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. Oh, whoa, 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 I always ask for consent before you put things in girls. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over that. Yeah. Yuri's extraction suddenly breaks. Oh my god. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Jeez. Sorry. Sorry, man. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, uh, that's... well... You were just helping. That's something that... friends do. Right? I mean... Not really in this context, but... Yeah! That's all it was. Yeah. Then... You don't need to stop or anything. Whoa! <laughs> oh, whoa! I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell her expression that she can't focus now. Her, my heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. This time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Oh, Yuri's sweating. You can tell she's nervous here. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breast. I raise my arm. Uh, like before Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, oh! <laughs> Sup sudden Monica jump scare. <laughs> oh. Poem sharing time, guys! Okay, everyone! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Yuri jokes back. It's time to share poems. Dan, can you help your? You can help put. <clears throat> you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the tea cups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hazel kid up without much as a word between us. I get the feeling that some this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Alright. But I wanna see if I can get more information out of Yuri. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Jaden, this one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up so quickly? I don't know, just seeing which one's a little avatar but jumped up to. Yes, yesterday I was telling you the kinds of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know! It's fine, take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. Yuri, me and the JJ's Great Gamers will always appreciate you. It's pro it probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me 
really happy. Are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really, I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. You really think that? Yuri, again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. Oh no, Yuri doesn't have any friends! Oh no! It's so sad, guys! I wonder why. Anyway! Do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's w with you. The Raccoon. I'm pretty sure this is the poem that was like about self-harm or stuff, so... The Raccoon. It happened in the dead of night, when I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendency as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a slice of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Oh no, I clicked outside! Ah, oh, sh shit. Uh, sorry, guys. As well, more dairy. I see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. If you guys uh, want to go back and read it, it, you can probably just pause the video where it is and read it for yourself. I'm sorry. I was trying to put the scroll down bar, but I accidentally clicked outside the viewing frame. Sorry. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas, I express vivid imagery. Convi- Oh. We got to read the last one, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels <clears throat> for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sort of things I use- I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because they're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Jaden? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I run a crappy YouTube channel. And also other things that I'm not gonna say to the JJ's Grip Gamers. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best way we can do is respect each other and our individualities, even if it's difficult sometimes, or some things make us uncomfortable. After all, I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening. There really aren't many people like you, Jaden. I'm a certain kind of special. That's exaggerating a little bit. That- it's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing, but now I almost feel- feel- <clears throat> Now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. It's nothing, really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness begins to disappear. All right, let's go to Monica. Hi again, Jaden. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh -huh, I wouldn't count on that. You know, it's me just taking 20 words out of a list. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright! This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in your inspiring style? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. 
Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she starts talking about literature, that's when the light turns on inside her. Hmm. Sally, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on inside that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I would... But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Monica, happy pose. Uh -huh. You completely misunderstood. Uh, calm down, I'm kidding. I'll delete anyone who you're into. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. Just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out. I sure hope you do. All right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent. Braiding waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalk board on a turntable. Like playing vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Load me? Uh, <laughs> okay, Monica! Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Uh huh. I guess that's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. I d it's just the kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic! The way I wrote the lines really short makes me feel like they're trying to speak over the note, the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Ah! Sometimes asking what a poem about is about isn't the right question. I'm trying to see if I could do that Monica hand thing. Alright, so yeah. It's with you. Yeah, I do. I know I do that. Sometimes asking what a poem about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. What? what, what, what? What? Who? Yeah! Oh. Oh my, um. Oh. This turned out different. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You know what? Oh, let's go to Nats, okay, so I can walk home with Sayori. Hmm. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Eh, what do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding or express something. It's just, it's going to sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't, <clears throat> unless you really don't suck at it. 
Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on your result. That's a key stop towards our sign. Don't tell me it. You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? Oh shit, we've been found out, guys. Well, what are you talking about? Keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind. <clears throat> you know Yuri would love this kind of this angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I mean it mean. Uh, looks like I'm in trouble. I said I struck a nerve. Though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I ended her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for like a younger girl stepping into my business. And unless I was a mind reader, I I was destined for a role of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't the really girl the really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. What I don't get to read Natsuki's? Damn it. Let's go to Sayori. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Jaden! Eh? I love it! Especially after yesterday's poem? Uh, you're too honest sometimes, Sayori. You know, I don't get why this character has to be such a dick to Sayori. Like, Sayori's my, se my second favorite Doki. Like, no, but really! I want to put this on my wall! Can I? Say so you're alright. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I also have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not, I'm sure your opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even that's the case. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Jaden poem! That's what I'm going to call my descriptions from now on. Okay, guys? Jaden poems. And that makes it feel extra special! Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just let it go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a, <clears throat> is a very important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah! Me neither! Uh, why don't we try doing it some thought? Uh, you wanna write something for me? That's so sweet! Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. And if you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Oh, uh, foreshadowing. Definitely foreshadowing. Yeah? Well, I don't know what you mean, but I'll just gotta keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Like, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah! I like things that are happy and, and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you like saying sad, sorry. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes you have a little rain cloud in your head. And a sad poem can, <clears throat> can get, help give the rain cloud a little hug. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. In the literature club! Eh? It is. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Jaden. I should go write that down then. Can you read my poem now, okay? <clears throat> Alright. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the- oh. My eyes. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. 
It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. Aw, oh, that's some cute action. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and puck one out, all warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put all the bodies, bottles on a shelf with all, <laughs> all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. In bottles all in a row. My collection <clears throat> makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle of starlight me <clears throat> to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper my, my fingers go. I'm like exploring a dark cave. Discovering secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging. Scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends hook through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up. In come my friends. In they come. Such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them off the shelf, one after another, holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle. But every time I walk down, it shatters against the tile on my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They're supposed to be for my friends, my, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, echo, echo inside my head. So this one's interesting. Because, like, Sayori's always trying to make someone happy. But, like, this is probably some, I don't know, maybe some foreshadowing or something. Hope nothing bad happens to Sayori. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did! Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I did, didn't expect something like this going for me. You know, why does my guy... Monica taught me a whole... A whole lot. And I... <clears throat> And I've been real in touch with my feelings recently. I can see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being, you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is it came out good and you should be proud of it. Ah, uh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit. Writing is like magic! You've gotten very passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing t until I die. Um... Yeah, let's just listen to the happy music for a few seconds. Oh, that was definitely some foreshadowing. Aha! Uh -huh, don't get ahead of yourself! Sayori always is having a game obsessed with something before dropping it mo no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of these times. But I'm seeing a passion rise and makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay, everyone! We're all done reading each other's poems, right? <clears throat> I have some something extra planned today, so if everyone could come and sit in, pr in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sorta. Uh, do we really have to do so- <clears throat> Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put anything together- We- It's not like we can put anything together good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves and not getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't do well at last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? <clears throat> we won't need much more than a few decorations. Suri has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets that we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing! Performing? <laughs> Um, Monica? Yeah, we're gonna have a poetry performance! <clears throat> Each of us are going to choose a poem or a recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're not 
we're also going to let anyone who else who comes up and recite poems too. See how he's putting it all on the posters in case <clears throat> anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. E. Fury, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for <clears throat> holds it up for us to see. You're kidding me, Monica. You did. You didn't already put. Po you already didn't start putting those posters up, did you? Eh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Agree with Natsuki or perform? Imagine that Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems to anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. I'm so... I'm sorry. <laughs> but... I still think we could give it our best! We're only going to be responsible... We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. <clears throat> if we start the event and put each other... And put on a good performance... Then we will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! <clears throat> it's about expressing your feelings and being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun! That's right! <clears throat> and it's those recent. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. And it's those reasons we are all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to, to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? <sighs> Sorry, I got there, guys. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it takes staying in front of the room for two minutes reciting a poem... Then I know you can do it! Hmm... Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been tr trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is try to help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments, so... Mm. Okay, fine! I guess I just have to get get it over with. Alright! Phew! Thanks, Natsuki! What about you, Yuri? Mm. Yuri rejects glances around at everyone's expected faces. Uh, I guess I don't have really have a choice. Ah, that's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh! You'll be fine, Yuri. Oh. Um, oh, the foreshadowing is strong with this one. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. You, <clears throat> we're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way! Monica! Monica! This is way too sudden! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of this club, how are you going to expect to recite in front of strangers? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start off <clears throat> to help everyone feel a bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Uh, of course! Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins to sign her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. Whether that her inflection is pristine. <sighs> she knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is this some... Or is this... <clears throat> or is this... Or is this... She's simply a natural. 
I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siri looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face I don't understand. Finally, Monica re finishes the, re the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica! Oh, thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Uh, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches your paper between her hands. Stand up, keeping your head down. She quietly, wa she quickly walks over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at all at us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called. After image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting up so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened to Yuri when she gets absorbed into her books. Quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in the structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This is what this must be a rare glimpse into the roaring fire that keeps Yuri that Yuri keeps concealed in her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back in reality, glances around, she's bewildered. There's, I... It's not to be the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Yeah, Yuri! Let's go! Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not <clears throat> that we didn't want to applaud her, but we were caught so off guard we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri... <clears throat> Pulls the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next. Then Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh, uh huh. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How'd you guys do it so easily? Uh... Try not to think of it like you're reciting it to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come off the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Dory brings her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice has made... was made as per... Ah, uh, sorry, I guess stretch for a second this is oh man. somehow it feels like her soft voice has made to was made as a perfect match the poem isn't aimlessly cheery at, like Seorius. it's serene and bittersweet if i were to read this on paper i probably wouldn't think much of it but hearing it come from Seori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning maybe this is what Seori meant that she likes my poems it's like I reach. <clears throat> it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone that I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. E even Jane and I did. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you very nicely. But it might be. <laughs> it might be that other poems wouldn't work as well with that kind of delivery. Yeah, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours that were sort of gentle delivery would have worked as well. They might come off a little... <clears throat> they might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well... I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. Hee <laughs> The next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! Now who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't make me go up before Jaden. It's not going to impair you guys or anything. Might as well Jaden while everyone's standards are cool. <laughs> Natsuki, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just a crappy YouTuber. I might as well get it over with. But it's not going much as like you know what to read. Can't go through what I wrote for today. I stand in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. 
since I'm not <clears throat> exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive an applause anyway. Sorry I'm not as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your or more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something I'll, that'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly <clears throat> gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's a little unenthused, unenthused, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that word, sorry guys, like, honestly, I, I don't want to screw it up, so. Oh, it's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. Better not make me do that again. Ah, oh, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite it in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea for what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice for the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets to let, <clears throat> to let me know ahead of time what you're going to be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find something other... Find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised you're putting all this effort into the club. It makes me really happy, Monica. Happy pose. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but at least try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue with that. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this, I can do this, you can do this, you're right. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to put on the same enthusiasm as Sayori or Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica. And then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Yeah. Will you two always going at home together like that? It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee! Jeez, guys. It makes such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's a kajane. You don't have to say it. Alright, let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Wait, once more? What? <laughs> Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual. On the way home. Hey, Sayori. Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about saying from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Oh, Sayori's blushing a little. Sayori fumbles with my words. Like me, with the first episode of this series. Let's just say that one day, Yori asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You kind of put me on the spot your feet. Oh man, guys. You know, let's just save real quick. I guess I'm about to save. Oh man. Oh man, guys, this is a hard choice. 
Oh, man. I don't know what to do. Because I don't want to upset Sayori, but I don't want her to think I, like, would be mean to Yuri, who would, who would have to work up a lot of confidence to ask me that. Oh, man, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna do my heads or tails. Uh, let's see. Alright, this iPhone charging block will be heads. The side with the red ink on it will be heads. The other side will not be. Alright, so we're doing, uh... Sorry. Do you think I would do you for your... Eh? But she's so beautiful and... You know what? Actually... Actually, yeah. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I always see her in the car every day. And besides, you always seem like you really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Jan. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted to, so. Sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure it out, so sorry. Besides, that's the point of. <laughs> What's the point in that playing sign that's never gonna happen, hmm? The conversation trails off. Kinda of weird for Sarah to care so much of it. But I just want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Alright, so here we are at our poem thing. And you know that is the point when I end the episode. So I just wanted to thank you all for watching. This has been a great section with you guys. Things are gonna start getting really good. We made good friends with Yuri. And Say Sayori is even more of a friend with us now. So I just wanted to thank you for watching. This has been a great episode. JJ, out.